welcome to the premiere of The Magic of Marketing. I'm so happy that you're here with me. I'm very excited to be bringing this to you. It's been in the works for ages. And we will talk about the number one secret to creating incredible marketing that will sell like crazy, allow you to attract more ideal clients, grow your business, and thus change the world. In the meantime though, before that, what I'd like to tell you is what you can expect from these videos over the coming weeks and years. Oh, so excited. Um, we're gonna be talking about everything you need to know to grow your business, and that includes not just the marketing, the branding, the systems, the mindset, but also some of the life stuff. Because as entrepreneurs, we're still people, right? We still have family and friends and a life we want to be able to enjoy and not feel like all we do is work all the time. So I'm going to be bringing you some strategies on how to deal with all that as well. So if you have any topics that you would like answers to, any questions that, that's out there that you just can't seem to figure out for whatever reason, send it in and we'll answer it on an episode of The Magic of Marketing. Now, in the meantime, let's get back to the question. So what is the number one thing that you can do that will completely change your marketing and totally increase it to help you attracting your ideal clients, making more sales and changing the world? Well, it's a simple answer. And the answer is to be you. I know what you're thinking. What do you mean I am me? Hear me out. One of the things that I've noticed in working with a lot of entrepreneurs over the years especially when they're in the beginning stages of growing their business, is that they're not always comfortable being completely who they are because maybe they feel like if they put themselves out there that they won't be accepted. And a lot of people are out doing things because they think other people want them to be that way, particularly thinking what their ideal clients might want or need. But the truth is, Business, in this business particularly, but business in general, is a lot like dating. So let me ask you a question. Have you ever went on some dates with someone who in the beginning was amazing? They opened doors and paid for dinner and they were nice to your family. And after a couple of months of dating, maybe you started to see some of their true colors and they weren't exactly what you thought they were. Has that ever happened to you? Well, if it has, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Well, in that example, you're clearly probably not going to date that person anymore. And the same thing's going to happen if you keep trying to be something you're not in your business. Because as you attract some clients, they're going to figure it out after working with you for a while. And that's not good for business and it's not what you want. You want to put your best foot forward and that is to be you no matter where you are in your life and in your business. So. I want you to ask yourself two questions. One, who am I? Powerful question. Question two, am I being true to myself in my business and in my life? Now, if you answered yes to the second question, woohoo, good for you, keep on going. But I'll also challenge you to go back and take a second look just in case there might be some tweaks. If you answered no, you're not being who you are. It's okay, you're not alone, and I want you to get excited. Because now you have the opportunity to clean the slate, to say no more, I wanna grow the business I wanna grow, I'm gonna be who I am and add value the way I wanna add value, and you will be amazed at even just that decision, the amount of weight that must be on your shoulders is going to fall off and you are going to be able to gain some clarity which is you clarity is so powerful so it's going to allow you to make better decisions and immediately you'll find that you'll start attracting more great opportunities and work will become more enjoyable because there's nothing worse than going to work and not loving it or not being who you are and that's not why you're in business you want to be in business because you want to have fun and you want to change lives so let's get to doing that. I'm so excited. It's our first episode and it's such a good one. I learned this lesson the hard way, by the way, so I can, I can shout this from the rooftops for sure. So listen, what I would like to know from you, what do you think? Do you agree? Do you not agree? Do you think I'm totally out to lunch? Did you have an aha? Do you, do you feel like, yeah, there's something that's going to change for me now? 
leave your comment below. Make sure you like this and share it in the communities. We want to grow this to be super big. There's going to be so many great things coming up. Um, but really, it's really fun to be able to watch and learn from other people and hear other people's stories so that you know you're not alone because you're not. This is These are common struggles entrepreneurs go through all the time. Sometimes we forget that because a lot of times we're working from home and it's just us and we may not have a huge network yet or what have you. And so, or sometimes you might just not talk about this stuff, but I want you to know that there are other people going through it and we'll know that by everybody commenting. So make sure you comment, share. Thanks so much for being here. And when after the video, make sure you go on over to jennifer-trust.com and sign up for free email updates because there's lots of fun that happens after the show on email. And that's it. Have a fantastic day. I can't wait to hear what you came up with for your questions. And we'll see you next week. Bye.